Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we're going to review adding and subtracting whole tens. And you should already know this from first grade. Now, let's say I have 60 plus 31. 60 here is whole tens, 6 tens, right? And the way I can add this easily in my head is I think of 31 as 30 and 1. So I can write here 30 and 1. And now, of course, I add 60 and 30, the whole tens. Okay? 60 and 30 is 90. And so I have 91. It all equals 91. Let's try another one. Oh, you try it on your own. Can you? 28 plus 50. 50 is just 5 whole tens. So I take 28 and break it into two parts, 20 and 8, like that. 20 plus 8 plus 50. And now I first added those whole tens, 20 and 50. 20 and 50 would make 70. And then there's the 8, so we get 78. Two more practice problems. You can pause the video now and try them on your own. Okay, here I think of the two tens and four tens. 20 and 40, that makes 60. 60 something, and then there's the 7, so I get 67. Over here, I think of 78 as 70 and 8. So I add, so I add 20 plus 70, and then I get the 8 there too. Now we'll do the same with subtraction, subtracting whole tens. 52 minus 30, this model here shows you 52, 5 tens and 2. We take away 30, so that means 3 tens go away, or I'll cross them out. So what is left is 2 tens and 2. And notice this 2, nothing happened to them, you know? So that 2 is still going to be there. There was just 5 tens, take away 3 tens, and 2 tens are left. So that's the shortcut here. You're subtracting 6 whole tens, so just think of the 9 tens, take away 6 tens. So that would be 3 tens left. And then 9 little dots, 9 ones. 38 minus 30. This 8 will not change because you are subtracting or taking away whole tens. These ones will not change, okay? And then 3 tens, take away 3 tens leaves, no tens. Look, Matthew, we get to do puzzles again, puzzle problems. Yay, you see? That's good. I hope you like this too. 22 plus how many more? makes 82. Notice over here, there's 2 and 2. That means that we are adding here, we are not adding any 1s. So we must be adding so many whole 10s here. 22 means we have 2 whole 10s, and then so many whole 10s makes 8 10s. So it's like 2 plus how many more makes 8. But I can't write 6 here, I need to write 6 10s. 60. What number, you take away 20, leaves you 44? How many would you have originally, and then if you take away 20, you have 44 left? This is the kind of problem where you can think backwards. You can take what you have left, and then imagine you add back those 20 that you took away. And then you get what you had originally. 44 plus 20, that would be 40 and 20 and 4. 40 and 20 is 60, and then we have the 4. 75 minus how many leaves me 45? You have 75, so what do you take away so that you will have 45 left? You could draw a model for this problem, 75, you know, using these, or use an abacus maybe. Seven of these tens. And five little dots. What do you take away so that there will be 45 left? You take away three tens. Last one. 50 plus how many more makes 96? Well, Matthew has an answer for us. Okay. Sure. Did you try to solve it too? There's 50 here. Over here we have 9 tenths and 6. Here we have 5 tenths. So we need to add 4 tenths, so we would have 9 tenths, right? And then we also need to add 6 ones, 46. Can you buy 3 clocks that cost $20 each? with $70. If you have $70 and you go shopping for three clocks. Matthew? 
Matt is asking, why would anybody buy three clocks? Well, if you have maybe a teacher and you're going to soon teach your kids and your students about how to read the clock. Those three clocks cost $20 each. So how much would be the total bill when you buy three clocks? $20 each. You can add $20, $20, and $20, and $20. And what do you get? That would be six tenths or 60 or $60. So yes, you can buy three, three clocks with $70. You even have $10 left. Amanda bought a kite for $17 and two books that were $10 each. Find the total bill. Hmm? What kind of books? I don't know. Maybe puzzle books? What will we do to find the total bill? What do you do to find the total bill? You add, right? So we need to add 17 and then 10, right? And add one more 10, because there were two books. Book and book, two books, $10 each. Okay, over here there's 10, and 10, and 10, and 7. So I add 10, and 10, and 10 is 30. And then I have the 7. $37. She had $40 in her pocket or whatever. How much does she have left now? Okay, it takes $37 to buy those things. And she had 40 40 37. What's the difference here? It's just three dollars, right? Only three dollars left after her purchase. Look, Matthew. Oh, he's so excited. He wants to go do it. A puzzle. A puzzle corner problem. Over here we need to put the number plus a number that make together 100. And here, number plus number makes 60. But then this way, this number minus this number leaves only 10. And here too leaves 30. You can just guess and check for starters. Now over here, maybe you start with this. Something minus something equals 10. And um, I don't know, there's so many possibilities. Let's try 50 here, just for starters and see if we can get it. 50 minus 40 would make 10. And now we just check if it works. 50 plus what makes 100? I have to put 50 here. You see, I don't have any choice. And then, 50 minus something makes 30. That would be 20, right? And then I check this one. 40 plus 20 equals 60. It works. So, that was pretty easy. However, there's many solutions to this puzzle. You can erase this and start over with some other numbers, such as 60 or 80. And it should still work. So, it's a really fun puzzle. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.